Sean Connery, how are you, sir? Wait, who the hell are you now? And it's Sir Sean Connery to you, whoever yes. you are. Of course, my, my apologies, sir, sir Sean Connery. It's me, David Zaritsky from the Bond Experience. I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Well, I don't give a damn about your political affiliations. No, 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 no. A I, I, YouTuber. I've, I have a James Bond YouTube channel where I do videos on, on the Bond lifestyle. Oh, Christ, there we go. Another bloody Bond fan. What happened to... This was supposed to be... And they told me I was going to be talking to Jimmy Fallon. Now, somebody's going to get bloody fired for this. Sir Sean, look, I, I, I totally get it. You were... You were expecting somebody else. Think of me as, think of me as the Jimmy Fallon of the Bond world, but um, even more irritating. Look, you're such an icon, and we really want to express our appreciation. Oh, by boring the arse off me about Bond for an hour. Um, no, no, we could, uh, we could keep it to fifty-five minutes instead. I'm leaving. No, 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 no. We, we could um, talk to you about um, how are you doing and, and, and how was your birthday celebration recently? Wait, is that a Don Bolognese shirt? Is that what? Oh, oh my shirt. Uh, well, yes, it is. In inspired by your bond, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Well, they make a wonderful shirt. You know, I remember when Terence Young took me under his wing, he whipped me into shape with his tailor. Got me into Turnbull Nassau shirts. You know, when it came to the style of the thing, it was really down to him, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's part of the legend how he he transformed you into the suave and debonair killer that you brought to the character. I didn't, um, I didn't think you'd remember something like that. I'm 90 years old, but I wager I can still remember more than you've forgotten. Okay. All right. Point, point taken. Well, I, I have to say... No one wore a suit quite like you. Well, they're right. Well, at least they were right. I miss that, you know, the feel of a suit. These days, it's more comfortable loungewear and some golf gear. Yeah. I, I think the whole world feels a bit like that, you know, with lockdown. And, and, and speaking of that, during the lockdown, have you been, I've got to ask, have you been tempted to watch any of your Bond films to pass the time? No. Not even a little tempted? No, I mean, Dr. No. Oh. I watched it the other day. I'll tell you what. I was as lean as a whippet back then. <laughs> what is it the kids say? I was smoking hot. You certainly were, and, uh, and so was Ursula Andres. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Oh, yes, Ursula. Well, when they made her, they broke the mold. That's when women were built like women when they weren't afraid to show it either, or that white bikini. And not only that, but the men were men and women were breakfast. Sir Sean, you, you kind of drifted for a moment there. Huh? All right. Uh, sorry about that, Jimmy Fallon. An old man will do that. No, no, it's, it's David uh, Zeritz. Whatever. Uh... Has it been an hour already? Because I'm getting bored. No, it's, it's actually only been about four minutes. It feels like an hour. Right. I'm off for a round of golf and to fire the bastard who told me I'd be talking to Jimmy Fallon. Good luck with your whatever it is you do. And give my regards to the boys at Turnbull Nasser next time you're in. I, I certainly will, sir, Sean. I tell you, it's been a, it's been a pleasure. I mean, this is... Goodbye. This has been, uh, sir Sean? S sir Sean? All right, so Paul Lally, that was great fun. You and I have known each other for years, jumping back and forth, and then I heard your Sean Connery impression, and it blew me away. In fact, there were so many times I'm like tapping my earbuds to see like, is did, did they actually get Sean Connery? But when did you realize that you could do an incredible Sean Connery? Thanks very much, David. Well, first of all, uh, I mean, absolutely, it's it's been a total pleasure following you for years. I've been a big, big fan of yourself and. Joe Darlington and all the other guys. Um, yeah, I, and as I say, I, I've I, well, I've had it under uh, under wraps for quite a while. I used to do that for guys in school. I mean, I was when I was in school, like the 
the untouchables was out and i used to do you know regale my friends at school with the you know the whole the bulge knife you pull a gun that one and uh that's the chicago way and they, they used to get a kick out of that and i used to just do it but i never thought anything of it you know and then um when i met i met a few of the, the bond community for the first time when i went to um a caroline bliss thing in in london i didn't do it there i went to the shiltorn honor majesty's thing didn't do it there why would i i mean connery wasn't even in that film and then when i i, I did do it people were like what <laughs> because i did a little one for chris wright i sent him a little um no to say happy birthday and, and they were like oh good impression and they were kind of tom sears sent it back to me and was like that's not you is it and i was like this was so flattering that people didn't believe that they were really confused tom sears said to me i'm not certain you're not one using one of those q voice modulators from diamonds are forever so he says i want to see it come out of your mouth so i had to send him a video of me doing you know like won't you ever believe me, Tom Sears, you know, that kind of thing. So it was just, it, it's been very, very flattering that people who are Bond fans and they know exactly how Sean Connery sounds are coming back with some positive but that's, feedback. That's what it is. So I, I want to nail it a little bit because for me, every Bond fan feels like they can do Sean Connery. They put a couple of shush right. and they yeah, 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 yeah. and, yeah, and they put what they think is a Scottish accent. Yeah. You have the right inflection and tone and emotional resonance Oh, when it comes you. to his sound and like what we just did, the cadence, because the yeah. cadence is everything. The consideration he does like in interviews versus Bond is there. But you blew me away because before we did this, it was an amazing question. You go, what age, Sean Connery, do you want? So do you yeah. do different ages? Well, I mean, you see, for, for my friends down the pub, you know, you, you're exactly right. It's like every guitar player does Stairway to Heaven. Everybody does a... Suddenly, Sean said chiseling sausages. But you know, um, you, you get, you get uh, for people who know their Connery's, like one guy even commented on the Double O Files thing. He goes, That's the best 60s Connery I've heard. And I was like, Actually, I was trying to do 90s Connery. So, you know, people do, they know the difference. But you'll know the difference between, for example, um, and it'll stay dead. All frequencies are changed, immediately security is broken. Between that and um, from the rock, like, Captain John Patrick Mason of Her Majesty's SES. You know, the, the S's are a bit, whether you have dental work or whatever, the, your voice drops and, and all of that stuff. But consistent throughout is, is that vocal fry thing that they call, you know, where, where the purr, you know, that, wow. The, yeah. That's, Connery basically lives down there. So if you can get that and then work on the vowel sounds, you, you, you'll, you'll do a good job. I think. And what I, I don't think people will realize, and I, I think it needs to be said after working with you on this collaboration, working. is that... This is not work, man. This is the best fun I've had in ages. It's passion, right? I know. It's all yeah. of our crazy hobbies. But but you don't just... You're not just uh, an impressionist that somebody smashes a script in your face and says, go. Um, you collaborated on the writing of this. You Do you collaborate on all the writing with everybody? Well, I mean... Uh, with everybody, the first person I did this was with Don from the Double O Files. Then I did it with Peter Brooker from from Taylors with Love, who just keeps laughing at the stuff I do. He he loves it no matter what I send him. He's he's brilliant, and um, yeah, we're just uh, we're far back. I mean, the, the only thing I do is I if I don't feel there's some like if somebody puts forward an idea and I just don't feel it sits right for me for my the way I feel about yeah. Connery, then I probably wouldn't do it. Like occasionally people will make him a bit more dithery than he really is like and i don't want to do that because i feel it's, it's kind of disrespectful in some ways to him as well you want to yeah. make him funny and caricatured but not show him disrespect because we all love the dude you know um that's a really great point you're you're doing an impression you're not mocking and one of the things that even in our conversation back and yeah. forth yeah it's it's totally with love and respect and i have to say this you kind of make sean connery badass again in the sense that he's not this wow. dithering you know wearing a fisherman hat being uh, you know walked with somebody yeah. down new york city streets yeah you are showing him as like dude i will break your spine like a potato chip yeah, Sean Connery. It is so cool. Well, listen, you're very, very flattering. And I, and I, I would be remiss if I didn't say that I, I wasn't completely uh, buoyed by the support that I got from all of the Bond community. But particularly, check out David West as well. That dude, his Timothy Dalton and his Pierce Brosnan. And of all people, Irving Kirshner, who most people go like, who? But, you know, as a producer, I've never seen ever again. He's a wildly hilarious caricature of that guy uh, talking about Sean Connery. So, you know, if you're if you're into that, you know, you should listen to him as well. He's great. That is phenomenal. And 
And he does super comedy as well, because like, he's a proper actor, whereas I'm just a goofball messing around in my bedroom. Here. I do like Connery voices in the shower, like people sing in the shower. You know, I'm in the shower going, he pulls a knife, you pull a gun, sort of thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was just saying. I couldn't believe you were in the financial institutions where you expect like a beautiful mind, Russell's crow, with like numbers around you and boredom, but you're not. Oh, no, I am. I am. I, I am absolutely mediocre in the way of numbers. Uh, <laughs> no, my job is a good job and I like it. But uh, but for the creative outlets, I like music and I love Bond. You know, it's yeah. great. And there are so many people, you know, whatever their day job is. I mean, you. Ruben Wakeman, now he's in the creative industries anyway, yeah. but he loves his day job and he just has a creative outlet with, with Bond and the stuff he did was amazing. So cool. So I, I always have all these people on. Yeah, I, well, I, I always say creators have to create. It's not that they want to create, they yeah. have to create. It's something within them that if it doesn't come out, it burns. And, you know, we, we find so many people in the Bond community like that, yourself yeah. included. Well, thank you. And I, I was I was saying to Tom and not to get too poncy on it, but we were, we were talking to Tom and AJ and, and David the other day. We we're just pinging a mental exercise about, you know, the value ascribed to cultural stuff. And, you know, we were talking about music. And I, I was wondering whether after sort of 2000, you know, when streaming became a thing, did it kind of lose a little bit of value in the sense that, you know, we used to always wait for our favorite bands to release an album and you'd get up in the morning and all that sort of stuff. And when Billie Eilish released the single, it felt like that was coming back. And when a Bond film comes out, it's that's there's so much value and so much anticipation attributed to it. So it's a massive cultural thing. And as you always say, the, the golden age of fandom we're experiencing now is something that is really to be cherished and harnessed. So it, it's just a fantastic thing. In a time when the, the rest of the world seems to be divided on everything, it's great to have something that is so um, coming together. And not one more thing I just wanted to say is Tom and AJ and Dave as well, they're always banging on. And I think it's so good about how to support cinema in this time. If it is mm. at all possible to do it safely, it's I something know. we should probably be doing, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a tough. tough, they're going to have a tough road ahead. A sure very, are. very tough road ahead. But it is great to hear people speak for and out, you know, yeah. in support of that yeah. for sure. Yeah. But Paul, thank you so much for doing this. This was a thank lot of fun, you, man. Thank you, David. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to finally talk to you. And I, I feel like the great imposter of being amongst all these super cool, uh, creative Bond people on here. But, uh, you know, if I can wedge my way in at, at, at all, I, I'm Do it, man. So, Do it. Yeah. All right. This has so been listen, Sean have Connery a great weekend. and Paul Lally for the Bond Experience. We'll see you all real soon. Take it easy now. So, Sir Sean, I, I've got to ask you a crazy question because I, I don't know, even know if you keep up with this, but you, I don't, the latest Bond film, No Time to Die, has been delayed until at least next year. What, do, what did you think of that? Well, it's no skin off my nose. Anyway, I've been done with that for bloody years. Although I have to say, quite like the song. That young woman with the green hair can really pop it out when she wants to. And, uh, well, Craig is definitely my heir apparent. That boy can wear a suit and jump off a bridge like nobody else. You know, I, th I bet you he'd appreciate to hear that. I, I may, I I may play this back publicly. Oh, well, there you go. You don't <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't think what else to say. <laughs> that's great. No, but that's something you would do. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.